Today's video from Sam for us help we're going to demonstrate how to program a new barcode product onto your NR500 series register. Uh, so in this video we're using the NR510F with a Sunlux 6500 barcode scanner but the process would be the same on any till in the 500 series and also any barcode scanner that you've got connected to the uh, register. So I'll just prove I've got a what is this? I've got a punch repair kit, by bicycle punch repair kit here. If I scan the item, we've got not found PLU, so we can clear that error message. So the um, the product isn't recognised by the tool, uh, and I've got a bit of time, so now I can go and program it. Programming the barcode products is virtually identical to the programming PLU products, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll run through it and then... Um, should point you in the right direction. So the first thing you need to do is to turn the key round to the PGM position and then all the PLU programming is under line one PLU. We are adding or changing and we are doing one PLU. So now at this point where you normally either press the PLU button if you were programming one of these on the flat keyboard version of the 900 or you would enter the number and then um, press the cash button. What we do here is simply scan the item and it takes us to um, all the settings for this item. So I'll pop that up there. So the first thing it asks for is the product description. So you press cash to go into it and it comes up with the barcode number there. But you can just type in your description using the buttons on here. I much prefer the flat keyboard ones because there's, there's just a lot more buttons and the layout of them is, is much easier for this sort of thing. Type in your description, cash to save. On this machine I've got one price level so it gives me one option for the price so cash to go into it. Type in the price, no decimal point. The item is going to be preset and then here you can either allow or not allow a preset override. I'm not going to allow a preset override. Taxable by rate one. Yes, on this register, I've got tax set up and this is a tax one product. If you are using tax, you'll be very careful to make sure that you select the correct tax rate for the product and then also make sure that all the other rates are set to no. Group one is fine. So there's then a lot on these machines. These are really powerful machines. So there's lots of settings you can have for the for the PLUs, the individual products. But generally, for the type of tools, the shops I'm using them in, most of the default settings are fine. So I can come out of that. Again, if I was now scanning, if I was now programming more products, I could scan one. In fact, what I'll do is I'll edit one that I've programmed as an emergency barcode for a previous video. So this product, I was getting the error message, uh, not found PLU, so I programmed it as an emergency and it gave me the description of PLU1. So I can just go into that and change it to, um, cash to save. Price is fine, so I've already put that in. Preset, preset override, I'll let this one be a preset override. But that's the problem with the emergency programming. So if you see my previous video, I did say I wasn't that mad on the emergency programming because it's slipped through the net as being in the wrong tax rate. Um, so yeah, you've got to be really careful with that. I know all the other settings are fine. So when you're done, you just keep pressing clear until you come back to the main program mode. And then we should be able to scan our two items, so we've got the repair kit there and then this one that I programmed in an emergency. Yeah, that's all working fine. So yeah, that's how to program your Barco products. Um, I've got other videos uh, related to the 500 series and barcode scanners, so setting your barcode scanner up to work with the TIL um, and then using it in general sales operations as well. So they'll be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforshelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.